Hi guys, welcome to my 12 week pregnancy update. So yes, 12 weeks finally is here and the baby is as big as a lime or a little green soldier. So getting bigger. This week baby is starting to develop like fingerprints and like touch pads on, on their fingers. Um, their ears are starting to move into place, their eyes are moving into place. Um, basically like all the major organs are there so it's just starting to like get that to work. It said that um, the baby is starting to build up its first poop. It's off practicing breathing by breathing in amniotic fluid. So lots of important things going on there. Not excited about that first poop although with Grayson I never had to change a single diaper when we were in the hospital. Anthony did all of it for me, so I never experienced the meconium poop Anthony did. So I'm hoping that'll happen again this time. <laughs> and he can just deal with that and I'll just get the regular poop. <sighs> so this week, what's new? Um, so the big thing is like I'm still nauseous. It's still the kind of thing where the mornings I'm fine and then about three o'clock on I feel nauseous. There were a couple days um, a little bit ago where um, I actually like didn't have to have any sour candy at all. I didn't have any like medicine to help me like my nausea was manageable and I didn't feel like I needed to take anything to help me with it. But since then I've had a couple days after that where I've just felt like not good. I don't know if it's necessarily like nausea. I think it's like I'm having a lot of gas, which I've been having like this whole time. And I just feel like it's getting worse. I'm very gassy. Um, I don't really want to go into it, but yeah, I'm just having a lot of issues and so um, I think that it's just like building up in my stomach and so it's just making it uncomfortable for me. So I think it's like a little bit of the nausea coupled with like just being uncomfortable because I have so much gas. So that's been like the biggest issue. I've been super tired lately. It's really hard for me to wake up in the morning. I don't know if that's just because like I'm building or I'm like making human and it's causing a lot of energy or if it's because this unisom that I keep taking at night, if it's making it hard for me to get up. I'm not sure. Um, once the nausea goes away, I'm going to stop taking the unisom and B6 so then I guess I'll figure out if that is what has been affecting me or if it's just my body. I still have a ton of acne on my face. Um, it's just everywhere. It just, like, as soon as I feel like it's getting manageable and it's all going away, then, like, new spots pop up. And, like, I had one on my neck. It's mostly on my face, though. It's just been a bummer. <laughs> I feel like I've been eating a lot more. Um, I've just been hungry more often. Um, I get hungry, like, at, like, 9, 10 o'clock at night. I need, like, a snack before bed, which I've been noticing. I've been craving a lot of, like, sweets cookies and donuts and all that and it's really hard to like try to steer me to eat like healthy food instead of just giving in to like sweets and desserts so that's been a struggle. I have not felt baby move yet. They say the earliest second time moms can or like not even like more than second time like third or fourth or fifth or whatever time moms the earliest you could feel is 13 weeks so maybe starting next week I might be able to feel something. I think it just kind of depends. The biggest thing this week is we had our uh, second doctor's appointment, our 12-week doctor's appointment. So um, Anthony wasn't able to make this appointment so my mom ended up going with me because I knew there was going to be an ultrasound she wanted to see the baby. So we went to the doctor's office. I wasn't able to record anything but I checked in. I had a pee cup which is annoying. <laughs> I hate doing that. Um, they took me back. They took my weight. I've gained um, three pounds so far in 12 weeks. I feel like I'm gaining more than with Gray. Like I feel like I didn't start gaining. I'll have to go back in my videos, but I feel like with my first pregnancy, I didn't start gaining weight until like the second trimester because I was just not eating. And this time I've already gained three pounds, but like I think they want you to gain like 20 or or something so like it's not that bad but I am watching it but anyway 
I gained three pounds, they took my blood pressure. I was nervous, so I think it was a little elevated. Um, and then they took us to our room and we had an ultrasound and it was not a transvaginal, it was just on my belly, which was so much better. I didn't have to get undressed. Um, and she found the baby right away. Um, at first, like I couldn't see a heartbeat. These machines that they use are like so outdated and so it's like super grainy and hard to see anything. So I was kind of freaking out, but she, she was like, no, yeah, the heart's right here, no problem. We saw it beating. She said it was still a two chamber, which I guess is normal because she didn't seem concerned about it. Um, and we didn't get to hear the heartbeat yet. I'm assuming that at my next appointment, I will be uh, 16 weeks and then they will we'll hear the heartbeat then and get a reading on how fast or slow it's going. So that'll be next appointment, but we did get to see the baby. Um, at first the baby was laying like face down and so it was like a really bad position to get like a uh, profile shot or like see anything, but as we were looking at it, I don't know if it was, she like, you know, you have to press pretty hard to get like these ultrasound images, so she was pressing pretty hard. I don't know if it was like that pressure that was making the baby move, but the baby started moving. We could see the baby was like rolling around in there and moving like crazy. It was like so frustrating because I could like see it happening, but I couldn't feel it at all. I was like, oh, I just want to feel it. But yeah, baby was moving around and then finally baby um, flipped itself and so it was looking up and we got that good profile picture. So I'll insert a picture here of the ultrasound. Um, I don't have it here, here with me, I have it downstairs, it's hanging on our fridge right now. Yeah, so that was great, we got pictures of that, she said everything looked good. Um, I asked her, like, sh are we still going to keep the date of September 9th for the due date? Because if you remember um, my last appointment when I went, the baby was measuring to have the due date of the September 13th instead of the 9th. So it was like three days behind, so I was asking her like, is it still measuring behind? Like, should we change the date or like, what is it measuring now? And she was saying that when they measured it now, as the baby gets older, like it's harder to get like a true measurement, but right then and there, the baby was measuring 12 weeks exactly. And on that appointment, I was actually one day shy. No, I was two days shy of being 12 weeks. So I went from being three days behind to being two days ahead. So, I mean, of course, like, it's hard to get an accurate reading on an ultrasound like that, but anyway, she said, you know, definitely keeping the 9th as my due date. So I'm feeling more comfortable about that just because it is, it has been moving around like that, and like I keep saying, like, baby's gonna come when he or she wants to come. So, yeah, everything went great. That, that was really it. She asked me if I had any questions, but I really didn't. I mean, I've already been through once I haven't been experiencing any bleeding or complications or anything like that so I really didn't have any questions and she said everything looked good she went over my blood tests with me she said everything looked great there um, I am uh, I do have a negative blood and Anthony has B positive so they do give me uh, Rogram shots I haven't gotten it yet I'll get it later on but I did have to get two shots last pregnancy one before Gray was born and then one after especially because Grayson was born he, I think he has um, a B positive blood I think that's what he his blood type is so they definitely had to give me a shot then so yes yeah, so I'm expecting more shots but I didn't have to get any shots or do any blood draws um, at this appointment so after the ultrasound everything was good um, we just left. I made my next appointment. It'll be the end of March. It's like March 23rd or something. Um, and that'll be my next appointment. Um, I think she said that we're going to do more blood tests then. And then of course hear the heartbeat on the Doppler. And then after that appointment, the appointment after that will be my anatomy scan at 20 weeks. So it'll be very exciting for that. I'm super excited. Speaking of like anatomy scan and all that, so I think we've decided that we're going to do another elective ultrasound. If you were with me last pregnancy, you would have known that we did go and get an elective ultrasound with Grayson to confirm the gender, and so we're going to do that this time. Um, basically, the way it works best with like everybody's schedules, because I have so many siblings, is they're all spread out. To get us all together at the same time, we're just going to do the gender reveal on Easter. So. The way Easter is this year, 
Grayson's birthday is the day before Easter. It's on that Saturday, and then Easter, of course, is the next day on Sunday. So we're gonna have Grayson's second birthday party on his actual birthday, and then the next day we're gonna have everybody come back, and we're gonna do the gender reveal. It'll be up at my parents' house in Toledo. Um, I'm kind of bummed with how that all worked out, just because I just feel like it's a lot on people, and I know a lot of people won't be able to make it because it is a holiday and people have Easter plans, so it's not going to be as grand as uh, Grayson's gender reveal was, but you know, I, st I just wanted to do it. I guess this time I really don't mind it being not as big, I just wanted to, to actually do one. So that's the plan so far. We're going to plan to do the elective ultrasound um, end of this, end of March, not March yet. At the end of March, we are going to do an ultrasound, and um, then we will know the gender. So, yeah, it's very exciting. I'm still thinking it's a girl, but it could go either way, really. I mean, I feel like as the weeks go on, I get more and more uncertain, and I'm like, well, maybe it is another boy. Um, again, I'll be happy either way. I really will. I feel like last pregnancy, I really wanted a boy, and I feel like I would have been really, really disappointed if it was a girl. This time, while I do want it to be a girl, I'll be, I, w I don't feel like I'll be disappointed if it's a boy. Like, I'll be happy because Grayson will have a brother and it'll be fine. So, either way, I'm happy. I just really want to know. I just want to know what it is. So, anyway, yeah, doctor's appointment went great. Uh, scheduled the next one. My belly uh, is definitely starting to show. I have not had to move into any maternity clothes yet, but I don't think maternity jeans are that far off. Um, these jeans that I'm wearing right now are kind of like, they started off being like too big, and so now they kind of fit just right, but my regular jeans that are like my normal size, like the button is already starting to get like stretched. It's almost to the point where it's uncomfortable to wear them. So I don't think it'll be too much longer, and I'll have to break out the maternity jeans. <laughs> I haven't been having any crazy dreams lately. Um, not as much as I was in the beginning. I might have one here or there, but like that's really it. So that hasn't been too big of a thing. Um, I'm still super thirsty, so I've been drinking a lot. Um, I've been peeing a lot. Some days are more than others, it just kind of depends. I've been getting headaches here and there a little bit more, but I just take uh, Tylenol and then it gets it goes away so that hasn't been too bad I do feel like my hormones have been a little crazy lately like the littlest things have been setting me off and like making me very moody um, so I have to like watch myself and try to like keep calm in certain situations I talk a lot of this stuff out with Anthony and he calms me down a lot but like even like like somebody will say something a certain way and it just sets me off it gets me like very annoyed very easily so um, yeah I've been noticing that I do feel like my boobs have been getting bigger um, and they've been growing my right is definitely a lot bigger than my left which is weird but <laughs> yes they are getting bigger I have not had to move to a bigger size bra yet but I know that is coming because I did have to do that with Grayson when I was pregnant with him and definitely after he was born when I was nursing him because your boobs get so big with all the milk. Yeah, I think that's kind of it for this week. Kind of a lot of information just because of the doctor's appointment, but thank you for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.